We were playing outside like normal when it happened. Ah! Riley and I ran to the factory to see what was wrong. Let's go. We're done here. We ran into a group of Imperial soldiers at the entrance. You... I know you. You've been bothering my dad. What did you do to them? Ah, little Riley, is that you? My, how big you've grown. Don't worry. Al's research, your father's research, is safe in my hands. <laughs> Dr. Belgar, we must hurry. I heard the factory got burned down by the Empire, but I didn't know you were there, too. I stopped Riley from rushing in, but I wasn't being noble. I was just scared out of my mind, and I was ashamed. I hated myself for being so... powerless, useless. After that, Riley stopped talking to me. I tried to go through the motions of my life like nothing happened. But in my head, I kept getting pulled back to that day. Stuck in place, paralyzed. Soon I found myself just... standing still. Looking up, staring blankly at the clouds, the sun, the rain. After years of doing that to cope, one day I, I realized I could notice subtle changes in the atmosphere. And that's where the wind talk came from, huh? I always figured you learned it in the academy. Watching you and the other kids playing around, not worried about the future? It honestly made me mad. Dumb guy like me thinking about my future? Please. I'm a Darkson anyway. Not much to look forward to. And then one day you were teasing me over something so... inconsequential. I just suddenly stopped caring. I launched myself at you, and you beat me down. I tasted blood. I heard my own bones crack. But still, I knew it was nothing compared to what Riley went through. That's when I decided I wanted to become stronger, so I'd never be frozen by fear again. Wait, so that's how you ended up going to the academy? Yeah. Filled out my application while I was in the hospital. So, you got this far thanks to me? <laughs> Shit, and here I was gonna apologize to you! <laughs> like I said, you killed the old me. When I came back, I promised myself I would change. <sighs> I wish Kai had heard all that. Maybe then she wouldn't think I'm such a bad guy. I'm glad we could talk like this. Yeah, feels like a load off my shoulders right before the final battle. Don't go dying on me out there. I'm more worried about you. You almost got yourself killed. 
<laughs> I can handle it. I'm invincible, remember? I can't die until I take every last imp to hell with me. Hey, listen to me. I'm being serious here. Yeah, I know. Take care of yourself out there. You too. <laughs> what, too cliche? Too punk for a schoolboy like you? Uh, no. Honestly, I, I've always wanted to do this. <laughs> Careful, Claude. You don't want to catch us stupid. What the... Kai! Riley! When'd you get here? Just now. Why are you so twitchy? Talking about something you didn't want us hearing? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Just guy stuff. Right, Claude? Yeah. You boys are so weird. You can act all mysterious, but I bet you were just talking about butts. <sighs> You're the worst. We're this close to our showdown with the Empire, and you're chasing TNA? Just beautiful. At last, it is time for the games to begin. Hmm. Class, uh. how long are we gonna have to wait? Yeah, it's boring. Maybe we'll just head home. My apologies. A gentleman shouldn't keep his ladies waiting. Now then, let's have a little fun! Chapter 4, The Battle of Zigfall. Listen up, everyone. I'd like to introduce a new member of Squad E. Stanley Barkley, how you doing? My bullets don't always land, but my jokes sure do. <laughs> ba -dooch. September 1935, E.C. The Federation vanguard pushed deep into Imperial territory. Slowly but surely, the Empire was driven back. But even on the defensive, the Eastern forces proved formidable opponents. All the while, Imperial strategists devised new ways to hinder their enemy's advance. Using counterattacks and scorched earth tactics, the Empire brought the Federation to a halt, even as they retreated. And at the same time, they had concentrated their reinforcements at the Ziegfall Line. Their wall of iron stood tall, and the legions behind it were ready and waiting to strike. It was only a matter of time before the curtain rose on a brutal clash between the Federation and Imperial armies. A conflict known as the Battle of Siegfall. Listen up, everyone. I'd like to introduce a new member of Squad E. Dan Bentley, 
I'm not what you'd call a social butterfly, but uh, good being on your team. seen that tank around. Wait, it's an APC? Who the hell do they think they are, just cruising into our squad's camp? This the squad E, Barracks? And what if it is, Scruffy? Who's asking? Whoop, sorry. The name's Dan Bentley. I've been assigned here from the 31st Battalion. We get reinforcements? That means... Yep. There's a big up coming down the pipes. Ask the higher-ups if you want details. Your vehicle's an APC, right? Yep. Stick a couple of soldiers in this baby, and they'll get to the front lines without a scratch. Huh. Well, beats getting shot at. After you get out, that's your business. But speaking personally, I'd rather get everyone back in one piece. Well, I've been driving for two days straight, so if you folks don't mind, I'm gonna get some shut-eye. Squad leaders present and accounted for, sir! So I see. Soldiers! The final battle is upon us! The Empire's built a defensive line along their old border. They aim to stop us here. This is the Zeekfall Line! And the troops defending it. I can hardly imagine how many soldiers are in that shot. This photograph only shows our target, the central area. The Empire has ten units of this size stationed at regular posts along the line. What? That force alone looks huge. They have ten times that? It's true. We've been chipping away at the Empire's numbers. But judging by this, they still have enough soldiers to outclass anything we've dealt with so far. Low on supplies as it is, and now we have to face an army like that? What chance do we have? They may have strength in numbers, but every one of our soldiers is worth ten of those conscripted farm boys. Minerva, you have a bad habit of underestimating the enemy. <sighs> We're facing an iron wall, with all of the Empire's military strength behind it. Not only is the Federation outnumbered, but we're exhausted from a long campaign. Is it really a hopeless fight, though? Think of our battles up until now. Every time, we snatched victory from the jaws of defeat. Who made that possible? The Ranger Corps. Yeah, we did. We can outfight them. We can outsmart them. And above all, we have a home to protect. And can't lose. Because the Rangers always win. Lieutenant Wallace is right. We cleared the way for Operation Northern Cross. If they want to fling insults from behind a wall, then we'll stand with pride and face them. Th yeah! We can do it. Let's tear it down! We'll break their wall of iron. This kind of glory doesn't come every day. And today, it's ours to claim! Yeah! Look at them. They're full of fire again. They're really something.
Minerva! I'm... sorry about earlier. I'm calling you out, I mean. No need to apologize. You gave them something to hold on to. Do you think it was right to say all that? It wasn't exactly a lie, but... But this is suicide. No matter how many speeches we gave. So it's not just me. You'd have to be stupid or insane to believe we can turn this into some storybook victory. But we have to try. We certainly can't back down now. To try and keep morale up. If we can't push all the way to the capital, Operation Northern Cross is doomed. Yeah. We're fighting for our fallen comrades, too. I just wish I'd been stronger. This may be our last battle, and I don't want to go in with regrets. So there's something I have to tell you. Mm hmm? I've always hated you, ever since we were at the Academy. Always spouting your idealistic bullshit like you've got it all figured out and nobody else gets it. No matter how hard I've worked, you were always one step ahead, one rank ahead with a fraction of the effort. That's not true. You've always been better than me. Even now, I... That's exactly what I'm talking about. That damn attitude! Ask anyone on this base who the ace of the Armed Ranger Battalion is. You know who they'll all point to? Claude Wallace of Squad E. You need to wake up and take responsibility for that. If anyone's been keeping our momentum up, it's you. And you alone. <laughs> That's all. You have a reputation to uphold, Claude Wallace. Get out there and don't disgrace it. Okay. I promise. Maybe I could use a little self-awareness. We'll win this fight. With our own hands, we will end this war.